Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Tatwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to find the grade of a student. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write iostream dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Now let us write wide main function curly open brace and here in the declaration section I am going to declare a variable called int marks and put semicolon and now I am going to write CLR SCR function which is used to clear the screen and it has to be written after writing the variables and this particular function is optional if you want to write you can write otherwise you can omit it now let us ask the user to enter the marks here using cout stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I am going to write enter marks and end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to get the response from the user through keyboard using cin stream extraction operator and the variable name marks so whatever the user is going to enter that value will be stored in a variable called marks next we are going to check out if marks is greater than or equal to 85 and then we are using logical and operator marks is less than or equal to 100 so some students may score more than uh, 85 85 and above 85 and some uh, students may score uh, send percent marks so that's the reason we have written less than or equal to 100 so some students will get send percent marks 100 percent marks and uh, less than that okay so here we are going to write c out in a double quotation mark i'm going to write distinction if it is true okay and the double quotation mark and put semicolon if it is not true then we have to check the next condition using else if next i'm going to write here marks is greater than or equal to 60 if the marks is greater than 60 greater than or equal to 60 means what 60 and above 60 it has to print c out statement in a double quotation mark first class and then put semicolon if this is not true then again we are going to check out one more condition called else if and here i'm going to write marks is greater than or equal to 50 if this is true then it has to print second class using c out stream insertion operator and in a double quotation mark i'm going to write second class end the double quotation mark and put semicolon if this is also not true then we are going to check out the next condition else if marks greater than or equal to 35 if it is true then it has to print c out pass class in a double quotation mark i'm going to write plus class then even if this condition is not true then at least else part that is default statement has to execute else i'm going to write here c out stream insertion operator and in a double quotation mark i'm going to write fail and then put semicolon here i'm going to write get ch function and curly closing brace for the main function now let us take an example here i'm going to write output once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter marks for example i am going to enter 86 so it will be stored in marks 86 is greater than or equal to 85 yes it is true marks is 86 86 is less than or equal to 100 yes it is true true and true always results in true hence it is going to print distinction distinction and the control comes out of this if else statement and then terminates the program by executing only this particular statement so this is called run one now let us run this program one more time let me write run two once again it is going to ask the user to enter marks and this time i'm going to enter 62 for example so here we are going to check out this marks is greater than uh, that is 62 is greater than or equal to 85 no condition is false whether 
मार्क्स सिक्सटी टू इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू हंड्रेड येस इट इज ट्रू फॉल्स एंड ट्रू इज फॉल्स हेन्स दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट विल नॉट गेट एक्सिक्यूटेड इट इज गोइंग टू चेक आउट द नेक्स्ट कंडीशन एल सिफ मार्क्स दट इज सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी टू इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू सिक्सटी येस कंडीशन इज ट्रू देन इट इज गोइंग टू प्रिंट फर्स्ट क्लास एंड कंट्रोल कम्स आउट ऑफ दिस इफेल्स स्टेटमेंट एंड देन टर्मिनेट द प्रोग्राम नाउ I am going to run this program one more time. Run three once again. It is going to ask the user to enter marks. Now I am going to enter, for example, fifty one. We are going to check out the marks fifty one. Fifty one is greater than or equal to eighty five. No condition fails. And marks fifty one is less than or equal to hundred. It is true. False and true is false. Hence, this particular statement will not get executed. We are going to check out the next condition. Marks is what fifty one. Fifty one is greater than or equal to sixty. No condition fails. Once this condition fails, then this first class statement will not get executed. It is going to check out else if marks that is fifty one. Fifty one is greater than or equal to fifty. Yes, it is true. If it is true, then it is going to print second class. And comes out of this if else selection statement, right? Yes. So next, I am going to run. Four once again. Then again, it is going to ask the user to enter marks. Correct. So here it is. Enter marks. Now this time I am going to enter. For example, forty. Okay. Next we are going to check out forty is greater than or equal to eighty five. No, false. So forty is less than or equal to hundred. Is yes, true. False and true is what? False. It is not going to print. Next, it is going to check this condition. Forty is greater than or equal to sixty. No, false. Then this statement will not get executed. It is going to check out else if marks forty is greater than or equal to fifty. No, condition fails. Then this statement will not get executed. Then the next condition else if marks forty is greater than or equal to that is forty is greater than or equal to thirty five. Yes, condition is true. Then it is going to print pass class. So here it is going to print pass. Plus. So once again, I'm going to run fifth time. Uh, once again, it is going to ask the user to enter marks, and this time I'm going to enter, for example, thirty. Thirty is greater than or equal to eighty-five. No condition is false. Here, thirty is less than or equal to hundred. Yes, true. False and true is false. This statement will not get executed. Else, if marks. Thirty is greater than or equal to sixty. No, it is false. Then this statement will not get executed. Else, if marks is what thirty. Thirty is greater than or equal to fifty. No, condition fails. Then second class will not get executed. Else, if marks thirty is greater than or equal to thirty-five. No, condition fails. Then this particular statement will not get executed. Here you can see any of the condition is returning false value. So all of these conditions are returning false value. Hence, it is going to print the else part, which is called a default statement. It is going to print fail. Now, let us run this program. For that, I will take you to my laptop screen. Here you can see I have already written this program in Turbo C++ compiler to save your time. Let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error. Now I am going to press enter. Let us run this program by pressing Control F9. Here it is asking the user to enter marks. For example, I am going to enter 86 and press enter. Here it is printing distinction. Let us run this program one more time by pressing Control F9. Now once again it is asking enter marks. This time I am going to enter 62 and press enter. Now it is displaying First class. Let us run this program once again. Now I am going to enter 51 and then press enter. Now it is printing second class. Let us run this program one more time. Now I am going to enter 40 and then press enter. Now it is printing pass class. Now let us run this program one more time and now I am going to enter 30 for example and I am going to press enter. Here you can see it is displaying fail. I hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you mm -hmm.